All right, today I got a quick tip for you guys on how to easily make some interesting shaker patterns for any track that you're working on, just using a simple Dr. Rex file. So first we're gonna create an instrument. I'm gonna select the blank combinator that I have pre-programmed. And I'm gonna call that shaker. Now all this is, is a combinator with a line mixer inside of it, and I've added some of my own custom artwork and saved that out. Below the line mixer, I want you to create an instrument. We're going to go to the Reason Factory Sound Bank, come down to Dr. Rex Percussion Loops, scroll down to the Shaker 120 BPM, and then I want to select patch number 5. We'll open that up and start it to play. Now, just below this Dr. Rex player, I want to create a utility, the Pulsar LFO rack extension. And if you don't have this and you're working with the later version, I'll show you how to do this in a minute using Maelstrom's CV output. So I want to flip the rack around and find my LFO1 CV output number one. And I'm going to route that up to Dr. Rex's master volume control. And you can hear how that already changed the sound dramatically. We flip back around. I want to boost the level on LFL1, and you'll hear the different pattern. Make sure that's tempo synced. And then if we adjust the rate knob over here, you can hear how the pattern becomes more dynamic and will fit in any track that you're working on. And now you can see if you change any of these other settings on the front of the LFO or even automate these settings, you can create a really interesting shaker pattern. But if we want to make it a little bit more creative, flip the rack around again, take this CV output from LFO 1 and just switch to where it says 1 plus 2. I want to make sure that LFO 2 is synced to LFO 1. It's also synced to the tempo and turned on. And then I want to bring the level all the way up on that as well. Now by messing with the rate on both of these LFOs, we can see how much more interesting this shaker pattern becomes. Now in this middle panel, we have a couple more variables we can adjust to change how the two FOs react to each other. And this level is basically a mixer between the two, so we can go all the way to LFO1 or all the way to LFO2 or mix them both together evenly. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do this if you're on an older version of Reason or you just don't have the Pulsar rack extension. Let's delete this. We're going to create a utility spider CV merger splitter and below that I'm going to create instrument Maelstrom grainable synthesizer. I'm not going to use this for any audio, just for its LFOs. And if I flip the rack around, I want to bring Mod A's CV output into the merger on the Spider CV. And I want to do the same with Merger B's into the second slot. And now, from that merger output, I'm going to bring that back into the master volume of the Dr. Rex, like we had it before with the Pulsar. We want to sync both of these LFOs and if we adjust the rate on either one of them our pattern changes again just like it did with the Pulsar. There's just a little bit more routing to go this way. So I hope that helps you guys out make some more interesting shakers that stand out in your different tracks just by using a simple shaker pattern that comes stock with Reason right in the factory sound bank. If you've been following along with the other tutorials and you've watched the template tutorial I can route the output of this combinator that we've created into the spider matrix inside of my percussion channel in my drum mixer. If you want to learn all the routing behind that, check out this tutorial if you haven't already. Um, if you have, thanks for watching, and thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Just Science.